Welcome to 4x8 Paper Stuff. My name is Beth and I have a journal obsession. This is my time and space to journal, whether it's to be with paper, paint, stickers, tape, or some other found object. I like creating worlds in my journaling and it's a form of learning for me also. I love learning by journaling. Currently, I'm creating and learning the world of shells. Let's see where that takes me. 2.30 in the afternoon. I have a little person under my feet, so we'll see how that goes too. I had to get a treat for myself because I was in pain from the gym. Not the gym, you know what I mean. The witch my collar. Where do I go? Physical therapy. And my sister has turned me on to this feeling sorry for yourself reward system. <laughs> and uh, it's not a good thing. I need to stop. But I did it today and I stopped at the little store here and got a Frappuccino. But they had this. Now I'm not doing hermit crabs, but there's lots of shells, lots of fish, paper that you can use. Look at that. This is the famous Eric Carlisle. Carl. Carl. A house for a hermit crab. And this is a form of collage. And I've always loved his stuff. I mean, look at that. Look at that pretty shell right there. We can make that. It's like, oh, oh, look at these little worms. Oh, they're little snails. Oh, little snails. Okay. Oh, they're so cute. Why are you chewing on my table leg? Yay, yay, yay. Crusty coral. Gunner loves this stuff. There was a piece of dried stuff out underneath the steps. Oh, I love this. He's been chewing on it. I had to put it up. Look, at there's a shell. Have not been to the beach today. Uh, it was physical therapy day. Oh, there's two pages. And my foot was swollen and in pain. Really hurt last night. Well, I pieced together a collage out of scraps and tried to keep it semi blue green, sort of. Um, I'll read you my journaling. Ooh, November 24, 2014. Ooh, the water is cold this year. Or maybe as I get closer to the Atlantic, the water is cooler. Right now, I'm in Oxford, where I've dodged crew teams over and over. I hear them coming in advance as the coxswain is super loud. Fun fact, the women are louder than the men. I hide and hold on tight to either a water plant or onto another shell. Once the crew's oars are out of sight, I continue my swim downstream. Oxford was charming, lots of beautiful buildings, churches, and lots of history. Lots of narrow boats. I think they may help me ultimately get to the ocean. So as you can see, I have greens and blues and lots of um, my envelope, my glassine envelope, which I'm going to cover up today. Um, I'm going to have to come up with a different plan of attack because today's paper was thick and yesterday's paper was thick. And that's going to cause ultimately problems down the road or downstream. Um, so i got to use thinner paper. Uh, and I am just creating chains, sort of, uh, to vertically place on these pages, which I had already prepped in advance with blue watercolor, just plain blue watercolor. Um, and kind of to act as water. Doesn't have to be, doesn't have to represent anything. It's just whatever floats, floats my boat or floats my shell. Um, and I just, I can't, I say this over and over and over. I cannot explain to you how much I love doing this. <laughs> I don't know why. I do see um, Eric Carl shells in my future. Possibly, probably. Uh, that was a fun ex fact, a fun discovery today. So I have my journaling down, except for this little piece of paper that was stuck to my finger. It had to be used. Oh, and now this little piece of paper. And then I went through a Daphne's Diary magazine that I got, I think this is February's edition. Anyhow, um, I ordered it in the mail. 
because I couldn't find it anywhere. And I'm looking for an English town. Doesn't have to exactly be Oxford, but an English town or a village scene or something. And I can't find one. Usually there's always some in here. So I'm kind of faking it with this. It's some kind of countryside, but I don't know if it's in England or not. But it actually matches my pictures and it looks quaint. It looks like it could be in Oxford. So we're going to pretend like it is. Okay. Okay. So I love this. There's my journaling which I cobbled together with washi tape on the back. Don't look at the back. Suck it in my envelope and call it a day. So here is I am trying to fold up yesterday's too to fit in there. And then I get it tangled up with the day before. So we, we figure all that out eventually. But um, yeah, uh, I have to go back and rearrange my baskets because the dog has rearranged them for me again. Thanks for watching and I will see you all tomorrow.